Well, has started a freshman period in one of his teams. And an early scoop and score for Alamir Dawes here this evening on the road. Well, both teams start out in a man-to-man -man defense. This is Tevin Mack, a graduate transfer, and you see both. A second crack at it here for Presbyterian College. Coming up empty. Yeah, number 12 in blue, Corey Hightower. He's their best player. Last year, freshman of the year in the Big South. Triple from out high, and it falls for John Newman, the 6'5 sophomore from Greensboro, North Carolina. Here high, 15 points on Tuesday in the loss on this floor to Virginia Tech. Martin driving, tough shot, but he gets it to fall in the lane. What? The level of intensity that Brad Brownell was kind of concerned about. Coming off the loss to Virginia Tech, he said coming into this game as Martin gets the scoop and score for the Blue Hose. Tech maybe a, a smaller crowd. Our guys are going to have to find their own way to motivate themselves. Get up and bounce back from the loss. And so far, so good. But really worked to improve that over the summer. Now well, Newman really, is a sophomore. He didn't really get a lot of minutes last no. year. Newman, Scott, and a three. That all. As they try to build upon that monster year a season ago. Curran Scott already has a couple of threes, can't find the touch there. But John Newman, ever present all over the floor, is there to clean it up. And they're going to be one of the four teams. I don't know where they'll be, one through four, but there's a couple of teams ahead of them. They're definitely going to lose at least one. Penn State or Ohio State's going to lose. The Blue Hose trying to create. Oh. J.C. Younger finally gets inside to lay it up and in. Things. I mean, realistically, how long does it take for a coach to really know his team, to figure out what their identity is going to oh, be? I think they're constantly evolving. I don't know if I was going to tinker with as the season goes on. You don't want to play all your cards right now. This is just November. Tevin Mack had an open lane, took advantage. Respond off the home loss. I think Brad Brown now got a really good answer from his guys. That's a great backdoor look from Chris Martin. Double teamed, well, goes down hard, no foul. Yeah, Quentin Farrell looking for a foul. I agree with him. But then Clemson turns it over. Martin thought about the three. Younger takes a peek, and he's got his second triple. Arms length, still down by double digits as we approach five minutes left to go first half. Curran Scott, soft touch from the free throw line. This Clemson program, but across the conference, a lot of new faces. A lot of opportunity for new guys to step up and a lot of good young freshmen in the among the big men. Now Hightower to a wide open Chris Martin down on the blocks and was a state champion in track and field back in high school. And that's the second three-point basket by Chase Hunter. The don't you don't see on the stat sheet what coaches see. Corey Hightower to the cutter for the score. Mission win a week ago. And I say right side of the box score, Steve. I'm talking about assist points. Not. Kayvon Moore for Newman. Elevating, scoring, and heading to the free throw line. Best it looks outside the arc because they've done a good job of moving. And a chance in the final seconds. Newman all the way with authority. The exclamation point at the end of a dominant first half here at Little John Coliseum. He leads all scores with 13 points at the break. Largest lead of the game for Clemson. The only starter who did not score in the first half is probably their best player, Amir Sims. Facilitator can see over the top of that defense and throw the skip pass. Into Ben Drake. First year head coach for the Blue Hose with a big task at hand here. What was the message to his team in the locker room? At the what you want? Are you doing the things defensively from a rotation standpoint? Tevin Mack scoping out a three and jarring it. Mason just hasn't found his touch as of yet. I mean, he's 6'8", he's known as a shooter. When he comes in the game, that's a big part of his job and responsibility is to make threes. <laughs> How do they handle yeah, it? How do you process it? Well, you have to, like I said before, you have to keep working and, and keep trying to get shots that, that you know that Louisville, Wake Forest, NC State twice, North Carolina on the road, Duke here at home. Or would he prefer a triple-double? Which one do you think? Alex Hemingway staring down a three, and he plants it.
go by the attire and call him the Blue Hose. And it's stuck. Running the floor and getting it to drop. The last eight in succession. But tonight is the first get together in the last three years. As Chase Hunter, before it was all said and done. Really nice guy, met him at halftime. Here to see. New rules in the game this year. Shot clock goes back to 20 on every offensive rebound. As Trey Jemison playing with those three fouls. He had his own player, Jemison, who kind of collided with him. And then Jemison with the block, but they're going to call the goaltend. Two. Going back to the new rules we had talked about earlier, Debbie, one of the other ones was trying to reduce the physicality in the game, and that was a physical dunk by Jemison there. Hunter to a wide open Scott, and more just too easy. To be here, I love the fact that he can bust Dabo and they get along so well. <laughs> I see President Clements and his wife. Beth. Tenured coach in school history he's, now, too. He's the kind of gear guy that you could have a cup of coffee with, and you, he's also the kind of guy that you could drink a beer with. Number 12, Corey Hightower for Presbyterian, just has not been able to get anything started offensively. Mack, this time from outside in the corner, and he buries the three. The shots that Clemson has taken tonight have been outside the arc. And it's the basket and one for Chris Martin. First ever head coaching job at any level, and this is game one. So he's got a young team that's trying to figure it out. He's trying to figure it out as well. And Jonathan and Bear, two significant players that will be back in the next few months. Now, finally, a rare three. First time they will travel out of here. Next up is Colgate on Sunday. We'll go to 1-1 one one on the season. It'll be an 0-1 start for Presbyterian College. And the Tigers sharing the ball. The bench reacting to the shot, even with the large lead and half a minute left to go. And the way they shared the basketball and the energy that they showed up with coming off the loss to Virginia Tech. It's going to be a 34-point win for Clemson here at home over Presbyterian College.